Hey, 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 it's Game Toppers Live number nine. Today I'm Berkey and my master of ceremonies is Josiah. Sir Josiah of Burkhard Smyre, yes. He keeps this whole thing running. And today we have our very special guests, Randy and Ellen. Ellen and Randy Kirby. Hey. Get out of my, get out of my frame. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having us, guys. We're super excited to be here. Well, I, I just think you guys are a hoot and so much fun. Uh, from the first time I saw you guys, I was like, Oh, I got to get a hold of these people. I just really like them. <laughs> I oh, am well, so you. glad that you did. It's been it's been fun to know you, Berkey. And every yeah, time your name comes up, everyone's like, I love that guy. Have you seen his beard? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, up, we're we're all northerners up here in the north woods in Minnesota. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. Gosh, very good. Oh, Wisconsin. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> did, did you hear about Orly and Lena? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you live up here, you know all about that stuff. I don't know quite about that. <laughs> uh, we have lots of Oli and Lena jokes. <laughs> Lena always comes out ahead. That old Oli, he's not too bright. <laughs> oh, funny, funny. I almost, and this is here, neither here nor there, but I almost wore my purple skull viking shirt today oh uh, we would have had a problem <laughs> then yeah i'm gonna look I, we would have had a problem <laughs> it's kind of oh. like that. we might have some division a little bit of infighting and uh to be fair I'm kind, of a, I'm kind of a fair weather fan i'm usually at the party for the food packer parties for the food that's All usually right. while i'm there but it's okay <laughs> food, food, we mostly, food works. we mostly bleed purple here Okay. Good I to know. The Vikings years ago. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I had faith was actually when we had Brett Farm. I always said you were adopted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we, we have a bunch of uh, folks that uh, will join us in the chat here. This has been our first cool. evening show. Oh. Oh. Excellent. Did you accommodate that just for us? <laughs> Because I know I told you, because you were. <laughs> that one was. That one's uh, can do it kind of anytime. Yeah, I'm more of a got to do it in the afternoon. Well, I can't. We can't be Wii game together without you. Well, like maybe. It's impossible. I tried it. It's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I definitely wanted to have you both on the show, and I think uh, for Josiah and I, I mean, our life right now is a 12 hour a day heavy euro. So oh. by the end of the day, our brain is pretty much gone. <laughs> His is better than mine. Oh, but, my goodness. Because well, I do less. <laughs> no, it, it, it's not the age. It's the mileage. Okay? I got <laughs> uh, yeah, so, you guys seem pretty busy. And the amount of shows that I feel like I'm constantly seeing you live is really cool. I try to always chime in and say hey and just kind of listen to what everybody's talking about. So it's been really fun to watch. Yeah, thank you. I think it's uh, the backers seem to really have enjoyed this. Uh, Kickstarter used to have a live Kickstarter link that you could do. And we brought in a few guests, Kay King from uh, Level Up Games. They call her Level Up Clay, Kay down in Minneapolis. Good friend of ours. Yeah. I call her a second daughter, you know, and she did Aww. some shows. We went to uh, a board game cafe in Alexandria, Minnesota, uh, your turn mm -hmm. board games did a live interview with them. Wow. last week, And so it was really fun. People seemed to like it. And when we started doing this, uh, we asked the backers, is this helpful? You know, I don't, we don't really need airtime. Uh, we got a lot to do, but it was like, yeah. it seemed like it was helpful. And then we could bring on awesome people like you and, oh, uh, and so have more here. fun. That's right. I love it. You know what? There, I actually had a guy reach out to me yesterday and he asked, uh, he's like, are you guys still into your game toppers table? I'm like, are we still into the table? <laughs> yeah, we're into the table. And he's like, I just backed everything and got, got all the accessories. So he's like super, super excited to get it. And then we were able to sit there and uh, text just about the different features and what my favorite part is and what he can look forward to. And I told him, we don't play many dice games, but when we do, I mean, those <laughs> dice towers are so cute. He said he's working on his game room and he really wants it to look epic in there. And I said, 
those dice towers are perfect then because they just add they're little castles like why would you not do that it's such a cool little thing to like walk in and see yeah. in this epic game room so i love it it's super cute well i saw uh, we on our last question and answer with mark street we spent a lot of time talking about mats and a lot of different ideas for some new mats different uh yeah. XL mats to be unlocked but we also uh spent a little bit of time going through uh the dice tower system and also mm -hmm. the player shields for the dice tower have you seen yeah. that i have not yet because i've been i've been thinking about making my own but now yeah. i'm intrigued <laughs> well it, <laughs> it's on the more. bottom of the kickstarter page and today we're going to answer people's questions josiah is actually going to probably pull it up here real quick uh but we have cool. a little video of that cool uh dice tower uh up uh, yeah and then uh, there's a little 3D video of it that kind of shows it comes in three sections and provides privacy player shields basically all the way around oh, in cool. the slots. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. We were just playing, uh, what was the game? We just played it the other Trajan. night. Trajan, yep. And we all had our little cards and so I had them tucked in. We were all doing that. But, you know, a little bit, I was like, ooh, I want something to block this because I just feel like you were looking over at my cards <laughs> yeah, I, I cheated every opportunity. He definitely was not. But you know how it is when you're trying to be really protective of your cards. And so a little divider would be pretty sweet. Yeah, the dividers will be cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited think, about that. I see Kai is here with us. Kai Hi, is Kai. a local from Minnesota. Oh, yeah. good to see Kai. Hi, Kai. Right? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Kai. My hometown. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Uh, Chrissy is here. Says that Chrissy is my... a very good friend of mine. So she lives local and to, to us, and she's always over here gaming. So actually, if you see pictures um, in our Instagram, there's another girl who's always in our pictures playing games with us. That's Chrissy. Yeah. And oh, I should probably say woman. She's another woman. I'm like, she's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy, it's uh, great to have Chrissy. you on Game Toppers Live. We're going to talk about that's you right. for a while, okay? She says, <laughs> I like Topper so I can be cool like the Kirby's. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Glad to have you a part of Game Topper Nation. And Trent Turner from Texas. Hello, Trent. Ooh. Texas, I'm okay. right. So uh, show, uh, show the brief video of the, the 3D render of the those. master technician has it all figured out. Here you go. <laughs> oh, all right. You asked for it. You got it. That's cool. You asked for it. Oh, <laughs> that is nice. so cool. I want one. Oh yeah, this is that is that's so gonna, nice. That's gonna slot right in. Yep. Yeah, that oh, looks yeah. great. And it's wow. just the beginning. <laughs> it's just the beginning. Josiah is right. We have three, wait, a whole more. bunch of cool thematic ones, like a Viking <sighs> longboat and a dragon. Oh, oh okay. my gosh! Yeah, the themes are always cool. Just kind of pull out which ones you want, depending on the game you're playing. That's, that's great. amazing. The, oh my goodness, that's one of those luxury items that you don't you don't think too hard about. It's, like, it's very practical. It has very practical use to it, but making it so unique to like the vibe you're trying to have at the table. I love that yeah. so much. Mm. Ooh. Absolute. Cute, 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 cute. <laughs> well, that's really the whole gig. You know, we want, Game Toppers is about upgrading people's gaming experience and immersion in gaming. It's like a game, a good game with, you can have great components, but don't have a good theme or don't have good mechanics. Yeah. Eh. You know, you yeah. need it all. You need you need good components. You need good mechanics. You need uh, mechanisms. You need, yeah. you, need, <laughs> you need really good art. Um, and once it all comes together, and that's a game topper system. It's a whole system of, of comfortable rails, of cup holders, yeah. of dice towers, thematic mats. Mm -hmm. um, I want to want to talk just while well, we some people get to know who you guys are. But how yeah. long have you been doing media in in the board game hobby? Um, I mean, <laughs> I look at him casually at, no. at the beginning, but around two two years, Has maybe a little bit two longer, years? two and a half Golly. years, maybe at, at this point. Yeah, it started super yeah. low key in our kitchen. I mean, we started posting photos to the dice tower, 
and just like selfies of us playing games. And I actually got made fun of a lot because they're like, why would you take a picture of your face? I want to see the game. And I'm like, the game's in the picture, right? Settle down. Like I want to, when I go onto the dice tower and I watch, you know, scroll through and I see the pictures of the games, I like to personally see the room they're in, the table they're playing on, the people smiling. I want to see if, if there's snacks at the table. Like that's just yep. fun to me. So we started including that kind of, you know, information in our phones just for fun and um next thing you know people were like you know what are the we want to see more what are you into what are the kirby's playing like where are you at right now and it just beca- it just totally took off it was yeah. bizarre yeah, so we cool. started doing live playthroughs in our kitchen and uh <laughs> yeah that's what we mostly mostly do i mean I, reviews are great and all but um i just I just find them such a drag to try to <laughs> record them sometimes. So we try. We don't do very many review reviews, but the live plays and the talking and the interaction, yeah. that's what we're going for. So uh, we're going to have more and more of that style content yeah. going forward. Um, maybe some more like shorter live events and stuff during the week and things. Looks like Gil said more than two years because we met at Origins Convention two years yeah, ago. Yeah, so. more than two years, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But it makes me laugh because I'll get, you know, a Facebook reminder of this time last year, this is what you were doing. And it'll be him and I at the table upstairs just in our kitchen. It's like super echoey and like not that great of lighting. Yeah. And so we, re- we decided to come down here and like make something awesome. And the game toppers add to it. <laughs> Your studio is rocking. I mean, you guys have been tearing apart that house. My goodness. I know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been, that's that's part of the reason why we haven't been um, as consistent in our in the last month or so uh, yeah. with streaming. But we've been doing it like almost like every other week or so. Mm-hmm. Usually we were pretty consistent. But yeah, we'd love you pumping out more content. We're in this really weird phase of life where we're just like all projects right now. And yeah. so when that settles down, hopefully we'll be doing a lot more. Um, fix the game room, fix the basement, fix yeah. the bathroom, yeah. put me new counters <laughs> in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm kind of turning into a DIY freak. Like, I just, we're going to rip out our carpet next. I'm like, look at that nasty carpet, rip it out. Like, I just yeah. want to do everything so we have, out. There's hardwood floors already. <laughs> um, so we're going to rip all the carpet out and, and probably refinish all the floors and things. So, so you um, need about two, about maybe 1,200 square feet of game topper mats for the floor. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Absolutely. <laughs> <That'd> be <interesting>. <laughs> Make <laughs> it in a big roll. Oh, roll can you out. do flowers yeah. like a flower well, mat? I can put that they're, down. They're great to do <laughs> yoga on, you know. Oh, well, that's true. They do absolutely. have a little bit of a bounce. Yeah, yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> nice as a um, robe. They're nice as a shower curtain. They're really versatile. Could use it for anything. <laughs> <laughs> Clean up the kids' faces with one, like a napkin. It's great. Well, because they're so easily washable. They, like, they don't really stain. That's right. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's like me. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're so durable, Berkey. <laughs> uh, I am nothing if I'm not adorable. <laughs> uh, says, or Chrissy says, I'm a big fan of the cup holders. I love how they can hold a coffee mug or a soda bottle. Mm. Mm. Right. And then, and then, Amen, a laptop sister. even, or as mine was just holding a keyboard off screen. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm actually using mine that, right, right now. You know what? Here's the thing. I want to talk about the tables for a second because okay. we have these little ones, you know, those end tables you get on Amazon, whatever, like TV trays. Yeah. yeah. And they're cute and they're fine. They do the job, but like they're not high enough. They're kind of slippery. Um, they're, they're average. They're fine. They're doable. Okay. Like that's fine. But when we got these in, all of a sudden, you told me that they hold coffee mugs. I'm like, well, how is that? And so you punch it down. It has that rubber bottom that punches out and it can hold a coffee yeah. cup. That's the most amazing thing to me because that's all I'm drinking down here. That's yes, right. yep. that is so, and it's really grippy. Like it's not going to slide or slip or anything. Well, stuff falls out of it. I mean, sometimes vertical, stuff <laughs> falls out of it. <laughs> yeah, these are, have yeah, you, seen yeah. Inserts come out. you probably haven't seen these yet. No, I no. haven't. Yeah, these are, Those are nice so too. cute. Yeah, oh. I looked right. onto the Kickstarter when it first launched, but I haven't seen any of the newer stuff that oh. uh, you guys have been adding. I'll well, go these, visit it again. These are a rubber gasket, so they they these are yeah. dishwasher safe. Yeah, with a oh. cup holder. I didn't even know that. That's amazing. These here fit in the bottom like that. 
Oh that's my a good gosh, idea. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Because if you have that, so, if you have that, cup, gotta, that cup that doesn't quite fit in the hole, it's exactly. got kind of that little awkward, yeah, awkward size. That's a great idea. Can, can the thing true. fly? What can't it do? I mean, like <laughs> if people have these square bottom yeah. cups, yeah. And they would fit, but now they fit fine anywhere. And now you can right. use it to roll dice in. You can put your Cheetos in here. There you go. How about it? <laughs> Gil says, it only interests me if it holds beer. Anything else, people can hold somewhere else. I think we can get 16 ounces in here, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm right right, right, right in, there. All sorts of stuff in there. Forget the cup. Yeah. I am I, not I, recommending I, I, that. I, I am not that. recommending <laughs> that. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. But I mean, I mean, talk about luxury. Like, that's just so, it just adds to the experience. And you don't know that it's going to until. You, you have it and you start using and utilizing everything around you and you're like, wow, it just makes sense to have the whole kit and caboodle. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, the um, I mean, we've had the mat for a while. We've had a couple of mats. We've had them from a couple of different people. Our first yeah. ever mat, and this was back before people, before Berkey was even around. Can you believe that? Yeah, Berkey. That? A, dark, <laughs> a dark time in our, you mean, in our you life. You mean in the ice age? <laughs> <laughs> what are, so we are had, you talking about the 1900s? Could, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, prehistoric times. So the only ones we could find that were big were like I want to say it was HCX or something like that, and they were you know the mouse pad style, but it was mm -hmm. white because like you couldn't really. The only big ones you could find were either some kind of weird like graphics that we didn't really want, yeah. like you know there's people all over them or something because <laughs> they were meant for like. Magic the Gathering and things like that, you know, so there wasn't really anything that really fit like our board game kind of atmosphere. And so we had to get a white one and that thing would stain all the time and it didn't have the nice stitch edges. Um, yeah, and then we found another anyway. company and we're like, oh, these are these are OK. These kind of work. They fade a little bit. Then we found Mr. Game Topper himself and we have not. <laughs> <left. Wow. laughs> it's, it's funny because we got that the pad that we ordered or the mat um, with our logo on it. And I was really proud of that. Oh, and, that you know, one, it's yeah. X-Ray pad, I think was the brand. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so, but you know, it kind of started marking up right away and getting little scuffs on it, which was really disappointing because I, I was so excited to get it. But as soon as like we got this one, I mean, look out, look at this. Yeah, look at the, the flop. The I call this the flop factor. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, it's amazing. It's not stiff. It's just very either? like, yeah, it's that, very that, like, a wood soft, grade, yeah, stretch. Right? Yeah, yeah, this is the beautiful. wood grain, yep. Yeah. And then we have the red kind of checker <clears throat> style, and then the gray checker style, and then we have the Great Wall of China. Still yeah. great. And the Great Wall. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. They're gorgeous. We the Those Viking are like compliments all the time. The Viking? We don't have a Viking, no. We do not. This is a problem. Oh. <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> and we need to fix the problem. That's true. <laughs> Number one, baby, and and Trajan. I mean, you were playing Trajan, and I'm like, oh, I, I wish they had yeah. the Roman mat. Well, yeah. so did we. So did we, Berkey. Man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, um, we're gonna this, have our whole room filled with mats. We're just gonna we're gonna, gonna be wallpaper our room with with mats. Yeah, yeah. But once you, you find know, a good mat that you love, like it's it's know, easy to become a snob, like with this kind of thing. Now I like don't want to play on anything else. I mean, I will come on, but like this is nice. <laughs> and we get compliments on this wood grain one constantly. Yeah. Actually, just the other day, someone goes, "Oh, are you guys not using a mat?" I'm like, "Honey, <laughs> this is a mat." This is a mat <laughs> because it's so realistically wood looking. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Trent, that's funny. Trent says the wood grain mat would work for your floors. See, that's yeah, perfect. that's right. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Easier to install um, too. Oh gosh, you just lay them down and then yeah, <laughs> just roll perfect. it out and they go. Got a little bit of stretch, so if you don't lay them down perfectly, you just move them around. Roll, yeah. roll and go. That can be your new slogan. <laughs> but the mats are like, honestly, for anybody's budget. You know, obviously the the tables a bit of a luxury item. Obviously, you know it's not an, it's not an inexpensive purchase. Right. It's a fantastic purchase, but <laughs> the mats are priced perfectly for honestly anybody's budget. I think that the mats are something that you should at minimum pick up because it's oh. just so much easier to you know pick up cards with them, mm -hmm. slide cards across the table. Um, it makes your surface nice and even for picking up components and yeah. having your your boards lay flat and all that stuff. Um, I mean, the table is absolutely fantastic, obviously, but mm -hmm. the mats, 
I think that's a bare minimum purchase. Yeah. I was surprised at how um, manageable it was. First of all, I was laughing because it was like instructions. And then we open it and it's like two steps. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I can do that. <laughs> that's amazing. But it was it's very manageable um, also to put together. I was surprised at how like it's it's solid. Son, it is solid. Yeah. But it's also like pretty light. Yeah, this thing doesn't like shuffle or move. No, great. yeah. It's, it was really easy to put together. So that was that was nice for me because <laughs> I don't like complicated. I love what you guys did with your video. You made a video for us uh, for the Kickstarter page. And, yeah. and it, it was so cool because we've never really had an unboxing video. Yeah. And, and uh, honestly, the, the, um, the level of engineering that went into our packaging. I mean, Josiah, tell them a little bit about what we did to make sure that our packaging was stout. Yeah, I mean, we went through several, several processes. So we had our first Kickstarter and those boxes were good and they were still very well designed boxes that took a lot of time and they weren't cheap either, but they, they weren't quite mm -hmm. cutting it. And so for our last Kickstarter, we redesigned it to where we could cut down on the weight a little, we could put in extra wow. one inch foam uh, padded corners around all the four sides. Uh, mm -hmm. Plus we have our storage bag, the toppers go in inside of that. And mm -hmm. inside the topper storage bag, we also put little uh, little quarter inch foam around the edges. So there's there's a lot of foam that goes into it. And then to <laughs> yeah. it, we actually <laughs> took it up off our, our loading dock in our building, which is about four foot off the ground. And we just dropped it off the end over and over <laughs> repeatedly. <laughs> now, That's a good way to now test this, that. Now get this. Okay, so we're doing this. And so, okay, so should I just drop, should I go halfway? He's telling me and I'm going, now we put a brand new topper in there. We didn't put a crappy old <laughs> one or something. Right? You know, oh my this gosh. Isn't a second. This is a brand new topper. So I'm, I've got like $700 in my hands here, you know, and it's like, oh. Yeah. Drop it. Do it just like that. Oh. Just like that. You can, they're going to throw it out the truck like a oh, couple yeah, of them and yep. drop it. And Run it's the net. So he drops it. And I said, take it back up, flip it around, do it again. Um, we did wow. it four times before we opened that box. Yeah. And nothing, and right? You want to talk about fear and trepidation. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, right. Please, please, please. That's crazy. Well, we, we filmed you, it too. So we filmed it all, yeah. Oh, it was, it was a one take and the video's out there. So. <laughs> it's, it's on our YouTube channel, the same oh, channel. I was gonna say, please tell me you're gonna put that up. Yeah. Oh, awesome. I'll have to find that. That's pretty funny. Because <laughs> you know there's gonna be some delivery guy doing literally that. He's gonna be like you know, just, yeah, just going to push it. it off the tailgate and it's yeah. going to kind of tumble. And you know, that's happening out there. Yeah. Yeah. Here's your topper. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Yeah. Game toppers, the live um, action movie. <laughs> we were, we were impressed with when I was unboxing it and that foam that you put in there, that's like foam. Yeah. That's like foam, foam. Um, that's good stuff. And foam, actually foam, we, had a, we had a foam, foam, foam. It's we had like a problem throwing it away. Oh, yeah, nope. it shows it's engineered. There's some good maybe. foam right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that it's not that crappy styrofoam that breaks and no. flakes all yeah. over the place. I had a hard time throwing that foam chunk away because it was <laughs> you, you know threw what I mean? it away. Really use it for something. Uh, no, we didn't throw it away. It it's away. In that room. Sorry, no, we didn't. <laughs> It's kind of like when you get I an extension. I should have it back to you so you could reuse it, Bert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like when you get an expansion for a game and the box of the expansion is so nice, but like you're not going to use it. You're like, oh, I want to keep it because it's just nice and pretty. And then you're eventually you're just like, no, it's got to go. Yeah. It's got to go. Yeah. That, it was difficult. He, he's still keeping his expansion boxes. I, I cut oh. the cord. Okay. Uh, okay. No, okay. I had yeah, four yeah, we'll big, big cardboard boxes full of them. Yeah. And I couldn't let go of them. And and okay, well, I'm keeping my three galaxy trucker. I'm keeping my Lords of Waterdeep, and I'm keeping my uh, Champions of Midgard. That's just the way it is. Okay. I let go of the rest, but I need a couple. I just need a couple. <laughs> need I a hear you. I hear right. you. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it does feel tragic to throw that stuff away. So <laughs> I get it. I, I won't. I won't judge you keeping stuff. I get it. <laughs> It's a problem. Acquisition <laughs> disorder. That's right. <laughs> well, what was really cool about your video, though, too, I, it was funny because you had opened where, where you were camera, you opened from the bottom end versus the top end yeah. where the mats and accessories are. 
And I remember right. when you got, when you ordered it and you were waiting for extra boxes to come in because you yeah. thought the other thing hadn't arrived yet. And you yeah. like, no, yeah. this is engineered to fit in there to provide structure and safety for all of it. Right. Yeah. Cause we had the one box that came in and like, okay, well, obviously this is an edge. It's not a huge box. <laughs> and then the huge box came in and like, okay, it's like, Oh, I wonder if the game toppers are coming separate or whatever. Yeah. And then we waited, I don't know. I think we only waited a few days or something. We're like, Oh, Berkey, I'm like, you know, yeah. we're getting ready to shoot the video and stuff. I said, like, should we be looking for anything else? He's like, no, it's all in there. <laughs> He's like, like, it's in there. There's like, no way. There's no way. Yeah. <laughs> it's all cool. in there safe and sound and perfect. I mean, there's, Plastic. I mean, there's a ton of stuff in that box and everything, so nothing moved. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. I think my favorite part was when we just went into the box. We'll just, <laughs> just get in the box and see what's in there. I'm like, hello, hello. <laughs> it was full of stuff. It was like was kids exciting. at Christmas. You know, they're more yeah. enamored with the box than the toy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, cool, Matt. Look at that box. <laughs> <laughs> totally. That was uh, a, that was a joy to open. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> you can use those boxes on your staircases and use them as a sled. Oh <laughs> so, yeah. 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 I will not There's be all telling kinds my kids of that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't endorse <laughs> that. Oh no, 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 that was a random fact. <laughs> this is we gave the box to the boys and what they typically like to do, they have sticks which are like of course their weapon swords, you know, machetes, things like that. And they draw a face like ninja or whatever on the box and they whoosh, 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 and they go out there and they play that. So your box ended up tattered. Yeah, any <laughs> box that's not big enough to um, sit in gets shredded in that yeah. fashion. Yeah. <laughs> our, our kids like boxes. What can I say? We <laughs> can break it down to easily dispose of it. So yeah, how and it, I was like, now go clean it up. <laughs> how how has the game topper helped with your filming and then your just your gameplay? <laughs> Yeah, um, it's well. First of all, we were able to. Um, it's just a better. It's a better height. Yeah. After using it, uh, you know, it raises up our standard table by what a three and a half or so three inches, inches, give or yeah. take. And um, honestly, it's been so much better. You know, I found myself like slouching all the time now, and I'm like sitting upright, and <laughs> that just that alone, just like ergonomics wise, it's actually it's the height actually helps a lot more than I thought it would. Yeah, that was actually something I was concerned about because I have this thing with my shoulder where if I'm in a certain like position like this for too long, we're photographers and anytime I like spend a day at a photo shoot like this, mm. horrible pain the next day. So I was really concerned about that, but I, I have had like no issues with that. And so that's, that is a big deal to me because I, if I'm not comfortable playing a game for two or three hours, I don't want it. It's just how it is. So, oh, but yeah. this is, it's been fantastic. No. And just some practicality purpose as far as like filming and stuff. I, like I said, yeah. I, you know, I had our, our, you know, our keyboard right off screen. So a lot of like, you know, we have remotes for, for the uh, lights and things. So having them like directly accessible, just for like mm -hmm. those little um, tables right off the side, it's been fantastic. Just that alone, just like a yep. small practicality thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, besides that, it just looks way, oh yeah, way better filming, filming anything down here now. You know, having like, having just the mat on there is great. You know, because you you know we have like a top down shot and stuff, so you obviously you see basically just the mat when you do that. Yep. Um, but having the rail and everything, it just gives a little bit more depth to the shot. It just everything just looks yeah, better. and that's the thing too. Like the <laughs> the side, the railing here, I really I was like, how is that going to affect? Like I don't know if it was going to be a positive or a negative thing that like you have this little space where you're like looking down onto the game. It's awesome. Yeah. And it does make a difference. I, I like how everything looks framed in. It's just like aesthetically to my eye, it frames in what you're doing. And it, it just makes it just feels focused or something. I mean, maybe that sounds weird, but well, you know, it, <laughs> that's how it, I feel. It's actually something that was was we did a lot of market survey when I was first making the wooden oh. prototypes because a lot of the game tables that are out there have really deep game vaults and sometimes uh -huh. three to four inches. And a lot of people were saying they didn't like looking down into yeah, a table. Yeah. yeah, that's too much. Yeah, and then, definitely. And so, because of our cross support uh, system that keeps the floor stable and creates this large friction footprint, so it just doesn't move. Mm -hmm. um, the reason we that also raised floor gives you a really nice visual acuity. So when you're looking at it, you're seeing things at a much better angle rather than looking down and, and seeing across the table is much easier. Mm -hmm. mm, absolutely. Yep. Agree and then, I mean, also too, like the framing that you have here has this little like slit in here for cards to go in. 
I mean, come yeah. on. Every square inch of this is like a there's like a practical thing to it. I didn't even notice that at first. And when you showed me, I was I was bog my mind was blown for like five seconds. I'm like, wait, <laughs> you put the cards in there? <laughs> it was pretty awesome. So now like my kids who have a hard time, you know, fanning their cards out can just whoosh, 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 put them yep. all in the front. And I do that too, because <laughs> Who wants just, to hold their cards easier. forever? That's it's right. just we'll easier. It's, yeah, it's, that's so cool. I mean, we actually have wooden slabs with um, cuts in them so the kids yeah. can put, you know, but then that's a wooden slab that you're bringing to your table. And so I, eh, you know. Yeah, this is way better. So just having them right in front is just really convenient. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and we designed those thick enough so that they can handle tiles and things like that, too. Yeah, we haven't had... Oh yeah, we haven't really had I didn't any even tile think, games, Great, my mind's blown yeah, again. Interesting. I didn't oh, even think about that. Well, you haven't had a need to do it yet, but now I'm gonna have to get out all the tile games. Or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's so cool. You thought of it all, well, Burke. Eh? Well, one of the things we thought we would do is we're we'll see how many people join us here for the questions, uh, but we uh, wanted to go through a few of the last, final, almost final stretch goals that we just put up. We put up a big update yesterday, kind of going through each of those things. Uh, we're down to our last three days, basically. This yeah. is usually a really big burst. We have a ton of marketing going on with BGG and the Dice Tower group and the board game group. And a lot of our media friends are, are sharing the information. But really, uh, if we could ask one last favor from all of our wonderful backers, if you could help us push through to get some of these big goals, that's going to only benefit everybody in this campaign. So uh, sharing the campaign, uh, if you own a product of ours to, to take pictures of it and say, and hey, by the way, their Kickstarter is running and they got a ton of cool deals. Uh, that really helps with the whole momentum thing. It's amazing how mm -hmm. a bunch of people start seeing it all together, how that momentum just really ramps. Uh, yep. Our last campaign, we did about $135,000 in the last three days. And we're hoping oh, wow. that we'll be able to do better than that on, on this campaign. But wow. it, it's, a, it's a push right to the end. It's run. I mean, it's it got them by a nose or at 800000 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost like a game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's exciting. Yeah, when we posted, um, all, I, I wanted to do like a grand post of, of the mats and everything like that. And I posted it, what was it, a month or two ago, a couple months uh, ago? Yeah. That got a lot of response to it. And that was like from a while ago. So yeah, if you guys are out there and you want to share pictures of your table, absolutely do it. Get the word out that this is this is a good and rahar. And then as you can see, you can even put lights in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was something Randy wanted to add on for oh, cuteness like and fun. Yeah, I love it. It's really fun. I like it. I've seen a, a few people uh, modify them. So I'm like, oh, sure. Let's yeah, do that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Customize it a little bit. Out of curiosity, mm -hmm. how did you do it? Um, so what I did was, um, so I, I went into the frame on the side and um, and I just drilled a couple of, I want to say three quarter ish, give or take holes. And I just put some of those like rubber grommets in there. You know, the ones that, um, cause it's basically sheet metal. I mean, it's aluminum. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's got a couple of thin walls. So I, was, I only had to drill the two holes and then feed the, the cord through and then it's just sticky tape you know on the back side um and and yeah that's how we did ours yeah so we just kind of fed the whole thing through and, and stuck it all around yeah and uh it works like these particular ones that we got i want i got thin ones so that the rails still work you know because that's obviously you want to make yeah. sure that the um dice tower still works so the dice yeah. towers clip right over that without any issues yeah oh yeah so. definitely yeah, that tolerance might be a little tight with the legs, or is it right? Does it work fine? It, it was a it little slide, it was a touch probably. Tight. It was a touch tight. It, it won't slide, right? But um, you know, if if you had to, I'm not recommending this. Oh no! But you can grind away just a little bit, like <laughs> a tiny, <laughs> tiny bit on the inside of the. What is, leg. Like, what is going on here? Leg. If you wanted it to slide, this is a crazy man talking. <laughs> this is a crazy man talking. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. That is not officially sanctioned. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, we knew we wanted it for like videos and pictures and things. So yeah, like, he's got the, it the, the, the thing. orange and the pink going across. Yeah, it's really just for aesthetics only. It's not to like lighten up the table no. or anything like that. But yeah, no. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> 
Well, I think what we're going to do is real quick, we're going to go through a few of the last stretch goals and just explain a little bit. One of the reasons, as Josiah pulls these up, one of the reasons we do it this way is as we've gone to Kickstarter, producing the aluminum is one of our biggest expenses. You don't buy mm -hmm. a thousand pounds of aluminum. You buy 30,000 pounds of aluminum and it's the yeah. temper wow. that we buy is crazy expensive. Um, we've, we have purchased wow. over a hundred thousand pounds of aluminum since we started. This oh, company. wow. That's Holy cow. insane. <laughs> that's wow. Nuts. That's, that's crazy. Um, wow. and so, you know, but that's a huge, huge expense. And then manufacturing these toppers, um, our margins on the toppers themselves is really not all that great. Um, it, you have to sell a lot of these to make this thing work. Um, sure. I, have, I often tell people I would take a four hundred thousand dollar board game Kickstarter over a million dollar game topper Kickstarter, just wow. from right. profitability. Because yeah. managing yeah. A, a, the product we have, the space that it takes to manage it, the warehousing, the serviceability, the shipping, all of those factors, uh, it's a whole nother level of complexity. But we're doing really mm -hmm. well. But it's only because. People like yourselves have said, hey, this is really cool. We love this um, and, and have supported it. So awesome. Kickstarter has allowed us to capitalize and keep kicking it up a notch, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, every campaign is has just gotten better and better and better. Yeah. You know? yeah. Uh, it just shows, you know, your dedication to wanting to improve something that's already mm. fantastic mm. you know what what extra little thing what extra little accessory what extra add-on can you can we do and it just it that all shows and looks fantastic it's Absolutely. all fantastic yep all right well we're gonna show uh at six hundred and fifty thousand. this was just unlocked we listen oh. very carefully to our backers and we have a lot of xl backers where they've purchased the 24 inch extension leaf they want to make that Watson XL, uh, or, the yeah, that's XL cool. or the Mycroft XL. And now you get two of those mats and two of the free mat storage bags Ooh. and a discounted price. And wait for it. There's more. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> you get a bottle of OxyClean. No, no. You get discounted <laughs> chipping. <laughs> I was like, all right, we're out of OxyClean. That's awesome. <laughs> and if you order right now, you'll get a set of German steel steak knives. <laughs> Not really. You can <laughs> cut a shoe with it. That's right. Yeah, you can cut a shoe. That's always what I wanted to do. At wow. 665. Uh, look, at, look at that young man having so much fun. <laughs> He's working as a workstation. He's got his DM screen and all of his D and D stuff out. That there is our gaming end shelf. You can t talk a little bit about that, Josiah. Yeah. So this this oh. is a stretch goal to just get the the one end piece so that you could use for like a DM shelf. Or I use it quite often uh, when I'm working from home as a um, laptop shelf and it actually works really nice. I'm not reaching down into the vault for the keyboard mm. of the laptop. So it brings it up a bit just to the same level you want your arms to be at anyway. And it's just, it's more comfortable. I was actually surprised. I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. <laughs> Until oh, sure. we got the prototype and I was like, <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I'm going to keep using <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's, it's great too if you just need to set up your armies or if you need a place for extra snacks yeah. or anything like that. And it just fits so nicely around the edge. So, and yeah, especially it, it, yeah, it's just a neat feature that if you already are getting a dining cover, you don't need to buy this separate because one of the end pieces will be this piece for you. But there's a lot of people that said, I don't need the whole okay. dining cover. So we fought, figured oh, out what it would take to package and ship it and make this happen for you. And so that's why we're, going to unlock that bad boy oh that's very that's cool amazing. I like that idea. oh my goodness that's cool too like going into it thinking i don't know if i'm gonna like this and then you're like nope it's awesome yeah <laughs> yeah that's good <laughs> so this is kind of a cool this is a bogo have you heard of bogo before oh yes buy one get one <laughs> yeah i never heard of bogo. My, my daughter put it in there i said you got a speller spelling error here there's a bogo <laughs> 
We don't do Volvo. <laughs> I should have not know really. I want to get one. No. I mean, now that you're saying it, I'm like, oh yeah, but no. Okay. Yeah, now it's like yeah, duh. But yeah, at yeah, time, right. I was like, I don't get it. But <laughs> I was. <laughs> duh. I would love him and hug him. Okay. So. This what what the big deal was here is our packages. Um, you get this. Uh, we unlock the stretch goals where you get two of the dice accessory trays and two of the little legs that connect the lice, the dice accessory tray to the That's rail. Awesome. But people said, "Well, we want the dice tower, but we don't want to spend thirty not twenty nine dollars for the dice tower and then another ten dollars for the corral." And then we have to do it twice. You already got two. Mm -hmm. Why can't we? I said, yeah, you're right. If we hit Bundle. some numbers, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you a corral and a dice tower. You get one of them basically for thirty nine dollars, which is a big savings, and then you get another one free. Wow! Ah. So the people spoke, and you listened. <laughs> I love that. That is spoke. very cool. I mean, that's true. Like people think about, yeah, I'd really love that, but God, only if it's this way. And then the fact that you made that happen, there's no excuses now. That's right. <laughs> exactly. And then we went another notch. Oh yeah. Another BOGO. But this BOGO has text below it because the graphic isn't quite correct, but Hannah's working on okay. it. But if you got one of our sculpted toppers, okay. Um, we made a Odin and a Dragon Master bundle, which essentially uh -huh. brought it up to the level of, of a package like our Scotland Yard, Baker Street, Reichenbach Falls uh, Elementary. But um, we didn't have those dice trays and we didn't have all that stuff in there. So mm -hmm. this you're actually going to get a full dice tower double bundle for $39. That means, uh -huh. that means the legs, the tray, dice towers. And that's going to fit in the same package, uh, just like a, a Scotland Yard package. So you're not going to pay extra shipping on that. It's it's designed in a way that we're going to be able to fit it in the same box. So that's another huge benefit. Very cool. That's amazing. Look at you guys using your specialty of cramming as much into a box as you possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> what else can we put in here? <laughs> it's a heavy hero. That's our job. <laughs> oh. I love that. 700,000. What's that look like? <laughs> and JK Burton Mini Mat Rack Special. And why was it called the JJ Burton? Anybody know? Do you guys know? Why, no. why the I don't think so. JJ Burton and Lord Burton? I no. don't know. Ah. Enlighten us. Well, last Kickstarter, Mark Street did a four part series uh, where we did a Holmesian video where you could collect clues. Uh, Jeremy Holmes from Blue wow. Peg, Pink Peg and I wrote it. Uh, and Josiah helped out with that. And then many of our podcast friends uh, narrated it. So it's this whole mystery called The mis the, the Case of the Missing Models. And it's okay. a four part series and you were able to collect clues and enter to win a game topper last campaign. That is and so cool. The one main character was Lord Burton, but he had been kidnapped. And JJ oh. Burton, who was running the warehouse, it's just like really happened. And right. <laughs> Joe Tyler, Joe Schiff, oh JJ gosh. Burton. You had, oh, one, you had cool. one chance to change his character, and you're like, nope, he's our shipping guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's I hilarious. That's really fun. Helped, helped write a bunch of the story along with Mark. So that was fun working together. Oh, very cool. cool. Josiah is uh, incredibly creative and he's been in a couple uh, you know, production, movie productions and plays. Uh, he was uh, wow. he was uh, Bob Boxfock on Board Game Theater. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. I, I remember watching the board game theaters over on uh, yeah, you guys used to do a segment on Dice Tower for a while. I I, I watched a bunch of those, yeah. That's so cool. Why don't I remember that? Uh, I think it was before you were watching. Was Dice it? Tower. Okay, because yeah. that yeah, all right. I'll have to go look that up. <laughs> you'll have to go check out a few of our episodes. The first episode was The Good Sheriff of Nottingham. And yep, then we I did that one. Royals from Arcane Wonders, which was so funny. You guys would crack up. <laughs> uh, uh, Blood Rage, Lance Meister, the undead Viking, came down to our home and filmed Blood Rage and Spoils of War. Wow. 
<laughs> I mean, you were the spitting like image, Jim. Say again? I, I said you were the spitting image in Spoils of War, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you can even get the Berkey Shield, uh, uh, Berkey Shield uh, promo card. And if anybody wants one, you email me at Berkey at Game Toppers LLC. Oh. If you have Spoils right. of War, I'd be happy to send you one. That's cool. All right. So I think Just we have a giving, question giving, here giving. real quick while we keep going through these stretch goals, but Ben mm -hmm. says, should I just read it? or? Can he you says, will the leg kit and center brace fit in my existing Watson bag inside the vault or the side pouches? Ooh, good question. So the leg kit and center brace, um, you could probably fit the legs inside your bag, inside the, the storage pouch. However, it's going to you know bulge out a little bit, but we actually have already unlocked a stretch goal to get the <laughs> special storage bag designed specifically for the leg kits and center brace. And it's oh, a okay. cool bag. It has a divider that will awesome. divide the center part support and the legs so they don't clank around and a much better solution. Yep. And I probably wouldn't recommend putting like the, the leg kit in – in the topper vault itself. Like in the storage pouch would be okay, but in the vault itself, it is metal against the floor. So, you know, when mm -hmm. you want to, to scratch, scratch it there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and those are really nice padded bags. And we're going to get to a stretch goal that we're going to talk about uh, where we're doing something really crazy special for you guys. We also have one other oh. question that uh, came in a while ago, but we can get to. Um, Greg asks, uh, hi, Berkey and Topper's team. How can I go about ordering two of your double mat bundles? Is that possible? I'd like to grab two Mycroft mats for our main table and two Holmes mats for our smaller tables. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, that is definitely wow. possible. So the double mat bundles will be uh, available as add-ons that you can select. And when you get your pledge survey, also, if you pledge for just a single mat, you'll be uh, asked if you want to make that a double mat bundle as part of your survey. And so you could get one map bundle that way and then choose another one uh, in the pledge manager itself as an add-on. And the you end up saving shipping. So we do our best to, to get the shipping to where we're packing as much together as we can and saving you as much shipping as possible. So buying four mats is going to be cheaper in shipping than like it's not just going to be buying two double map bundle shipping costs. There'll actually be even more savings there. So exactly. So it normally costs you fifteen dollars a mat. So four mats would normally cost you sixty bucks if they were ordered individually. But two of oh, them wow. ship for twenty, and four of them will probably ship for like thirty-five. So it's way. Oh cheaper. wow! That's, yeah. Oh that's yeah, definitely. half the price. That's amazing. <clears throat> you yeah. should get as many mats as you can possibly fit in your house. <laughs> Again, <laughs> the floors. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, we actually. Yeah, we have like a little. Um, we have some of our mats on a wall hook thing that I made um last year or so that worked pretty cool it's like a cascading thing with yep, um yep. curtain rods I, I think that having the mats out in the way that we have them displayed is just so like when you look over there and you see the the gray wall of china mat hanging there it just looks so darn pretty it's right? art it's it's literally art and then you just hang it up on the little mat and you can kind of see it in your game yeah. area it's just ah uh, i love it I'm becoming so extra with all this gaming stuff. I like it's just I, you now the me... pirate map. It is like, <sighs> yeah. You showed the, us. I think you showed top. us a, a rendering or a yeah I think a JPEG or something of it. I I think because it was like kind of shaded out and it had like a yeah. You like were kind of telling kind of us about it a little while. I don't want to say if I'm not supposed to. Yeah, it looks yeah, it looks anything. great. Whenever when I okay, <laughs> I wasn't sure. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, it was like, a, uh, it was like a treasure map, right? It had like the corners and like a scroll almost, right? Yeah, yeah. If you go to our campaign, you'll see that it's unlocked and you'll see the art there. There's also a video called a, a Matt video catalog that shows a detailed video roundup. Jamie Keggy and I worked on together to show each map uh, really well awesome. in detail. So you can see it a little <laughs> bit more live action, so to speak. I love that. That's and honestly, cool. like the mat game, I feel like you, there's so many things you could do. You know, there's so many things you could do. And I'm loving seeing all the designs that are coming out. Even just one that's like this, it looks like a table. Like I appreciate the heck out of this. I love it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
So this this JJ Burton deal, basically, you're getting the the four hole JJ Burton mat rack and mm -hmm. four mats and four storage bags, and you'll notice there that the that the a la carte price actually is four hundred and five dollars if you buy it all separately. Um, the MSRP is actually higher than that. I need to probably change that graphic, but. Um, I blew these up. This is for the Lestrade and the Hudson. So if you've got rail bundles and you want yeah. extra mats for your smaller size, uh, people were saying, hey, could you do this? Yeah, I'll do it. And I that price is crazy. 300 bucks for mm. all of that is crazy. <laughs> Look at in the uh, he's comments. Crazy, he, he's going to be in the psych board by the time we're, we're done with <laughs> it's this. It's absolutely crazy. <laughs> yeah. um, Trent Turner says game mat posters, and that is That's an interesting idea. It, I actually mm. think, yeah, if you could get some of these mats on display when you're not using them, if maybe, could maybe not the wood out, grain one, but yeah, maybe not the wood grain one. But I mean, that's interesting. He says that because when we opened up the the Great Wall of China one, the amount of detail in there is crazy. I mean, if you think about this, it's like a it's like fabric and a lot of times when you're you know doing a screen on or any kind of stitching or anything you lose some detail just because of the the nature of the material but man we, we were so impressed with how detailed the mats are it's crazy yeah, yeah they're really pretty that's vincent du and that that's vincent dutrait i mean yeah. he's one of my favorite artists i mean he's he was wonderful to work with yeah. he actually paints on canvas and then it's digitized. Oh, oh wow. Cool. Okay. Yeah. That's amazing. Very neat. All right. Next one. So this is five mats in the Hudson and Lestrade sizes. So opening up some of our new mats into the Hudson and Lestrade sizes. So that's the Great Wall, the Pirate, Cthulhu, Volcano, and Roman mats, all in the smaller Hudson and Lestrade sizes as well. That's well, really if cool. you're gonna have a JJ Burton bundle, you better have some extra <laughs> stuff, right? <laughs> JJ Burton bundle. That's just fun to say. Oh, look at this thing. Okay, what do you think of that? That's cool. Is that a Game Topper's hat? Yeah, it was yeah okay. Oh my gosh, that's so cute! Wow, that's now, adorable. Actually, the hat. This thing is 14 inches around, so it's pretty decent size. You'll see there's two holes there for card slots, mm -hmm. sleeve cards uh -huh. too. Yeah. Dice, several deep wells that have little uh, slant in the front of them so you can scoop out easy. Oh, nice. In mm. addition, the two brims there of the hat, right now they're solid in this graphic. We've actually mm -hmm. changed that, that there's two small bins there too. So if you have like oh. your hit markers or something small, uh -huh. you can fit it. And then even in the circle space, there's extra place to put other bits. So your general bank is essentially, and we're doing this out of a real, you, you've seen the awesome products that Game Trays has made. Yeah. Oh yeah, yep. Um, I'm work, we did the design with our engineering team, but but Noah from Game Trays is helping me with this. And wow. but we're using a much thicker uh, vacuum form plastic. It's gonna be mm. close to an eighth of an inch. Oh, wow. So it's going to be more stout than anything you've seen that way. So it'll be very durable and $30 retail. But on the Kickstarter campaign, we're going to drop those for 20 bucks. Wow. That's, great. that's so that's cool. neat. Matthew says, love it. <laughs> <laughs> that's adorable. I, I think that's another thing I've been super impressed with, with just the, even just the things we have, because we don't have that, but there's like, there's bit holders everywhere like yep. it's crazy and I, that's that's a really neat thing because especially we are euro gamers and we've just got there's bits to everything you got cubes for everything and there's right. always a place to put them when we when we're playing those yep. like super crunchy Very euro cool. games or you're like what do i do and then it saves room on the table too because you can do less um like chit holders like little bowls and things like that you can just slap them right into the table next to you or whatever so that's cool yeah. And how, many, and you, how many of the dice tower trays do you folks have? Uh, we've got the we've got <laughs> two. Um, so yeah. A lot of times people will get four of those, so every player will have their yeah. own. 
Yeah. And that really saves on the the, the real estate also. All right, Berkey, we'll buy some more, Berkey, okay? Okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> just, a, just a friendly hint. That's all that was. <laughs> <laughs> have, a, have, a, have a couple questions we'll get to here real quick in regards to some, some shipping space. So Willie asks, can a double mat bundle fit in the Scotland Yard box or will it ship separately? It's a great question. So the Scotland Yard bundle itself already comes with two mats. And so that is the most we can fit in that box. So the additional double mat bundle would ship separately. If you just had a, like a Watson topper, um, sometimes we can squeeze three mats in depending. Um, but we have to take one yeah. out of the box and put it inside the vault where it's better to yeah. have them rolled, but we, we can do sure. that in a way that's still yeah. safe. But yeah. But with <laughs> with the Scotland Yard already having two another double mat, they would end up they would end up being separate. Uh, Matthew asked, will this fit in the box with my Scotland Yard bundle? I think talking about the the topper hat tray. And yes it would. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so they make it fit. <laughs> yeah. and, if they and do one thing, a later schedule <laughs> that is going to answer that question even better if we hit some big numbers. Uh, okay. Ask, a while ago, you teased the possibility of a coffee table height legs, but I don't think I've seen any news on it. Care to spoil anything? Uh, we're, we're, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, oh and, my gosh. <laughs> putting grooves in your table, chopping the legs off. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll have about, we have 20 styles of mats, so we can probably come up with about six to eight styles of leg heights. Uh, <laughs> mm, that's right. Um, <laughs> um, there are some opportunities when the taller you get, you also start to change the dynamic of the stability a little bit. So the taller you get, the more more wobbly, if you will, you can get. These legs are are all steel, and they're crazy heavy duty. You know, it, it it's a they're they're very solid, and they have mm -hmm. levelers on them. But we are able to get it different sizes, and we are exploring a 16 inch height that's perfect for coffee tables and children tables. Mm. Oh, that's These are cool. some new things that we'll bring to light. And if there's enough demand, we'll see what we can do. Uh, yeah, I was gonna ask what the height. demand is on that. That's really interesting. I, I didn't really think of a coffee height, a coffee table height. That's really interesting. Uh, yeah, that's uh, depending on if you're, you know, depending on the game, if you're just kind of sitting at the couch or whatever, mm. or, uh, you know, obviously, yeah, that, that's that's a cool, that's a cool concept. Yeah. And, and uh, I, my grandkids came over and we were doing Lincoln logs and it's just perfect for the toddlers. You know, they're three and five years old and oh yeah, you know, just perfect. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you had like the little um, wood top too, cause you could actually make it, you yeah. know, use it as a proper copy coffee table yep, and then yep. game with it. That's cool. Hmm. And Mark Street, you know, he loves his game topper to make Legos. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. He does oh. all his Lego on there. Yeah. That totally makes sense. Yeah. I mean, Ray, Randy built the, our boys have a ton of Legos. I mean, just ridiculous amount. And so he actually built them a table that has this concept with the raised edges all the way around too. So it doesn't, you know, Legos don't slosh all over the place. So yeah, I can imagine that would be perfect. And you stuff off the table. Uh, there's so many things that are in development. Um, last year was a real difficult time with, with supply chain, logistics, cost of products going up. I mean, it's really been a challenging year for a lot of reasons. But as we grow, we're continuing to innovate. And we already have plans for some really cool stuff with our system. And so like our Mycroft owners, for instance, the, the legs right now work with a Mycroft. So they'll connect to the, but we, we don't have the center supports yet tested and ready for market. So that'll be coming mm -hmm. shortly hereafter. Um, but have you ever thought about wanting to have drawers underneath your topper? So that- <laughs> Yeah, you know, obviously the drawers would be pretty cool. Or, yeah. You know, your extra card sleeves or score pads or whatever. Well, those are things we're already uh, talking about. And when we redesigned the wow. rail to incorporate that C channel, that allowed us to have mechanical fasteners uh, for the future developments. Now, when we first started our company, it was just a topper. That's how we right. sold it. But, you know, uh, 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 necessity is the mother of invention, right? Yeah. 
You're going to have yep. to change your name to Game Toppers and more. <laughs> and more. <laughs> Game Toppers and stuff. Yeah, that'd be cool to have some drawers. That would be amazing. I was cool. th- As you were saying that, I was like trying to envision it. And I'm like, how many times at the end of a game do we get up to go get pencils or score pads, which people need to start including those in every game, please. <laughs> um, dice, you know, things like that. That'd be amazing to just whoosh, pull yeah, it out, grab a pen. Like, just right there. Oh, yeah. Wow. And we're going to show you a, a, a stretch goal here in just a few minutes, but there'll be another application for that. So just just uh, rest assured as we continue to do well, we're going to continue to get better. We're going to do our best to make everything as, as backward compatible as possible um, and, and, and always have that in mind. We have a, another stretch goal there. So this is the Game Topper mouse pad that you get free <laughs> with every package. So that's our Baker Street, Scotland Yard, Reichenbach Falls, <laughs> Elementary Package, and the Odin and Dragon Master bundles. Yes. I know. Uh, Mike probably, has used this to game with already. Yeah. <laughs> so did you get one in your package? Yeah, yeah we got our one. kids yeah, use so it. They, they use it whenever, they, whenever they're on their laptops. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Immediate use kind of, out of that thing. <laughs> it, it's kind of a corny, fun little thing, but it's uh, they're Love really it. nice mouse pads, right? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they, they're actually they're pretty good. Um, it picks up the DPI on your on your mouse pretty good, and, and it's actually yeah, they, we haven't had any skipping or anything. And they're they're nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you get one of those free. So that's another ten dollars nice. in your pocket. Right. <laughs> right. Boom. Here's so the big bad. deal. Look at this. Yeah. So the Watson oh Satchel goodness. Bundle. So this is the full dining gaming cover as well as the leg kit and center support and storage bags for both of them. For the Watson size oh toppers. Goodness. Wow. Now, you'll That's see that cool. the, the sale price of the leg kit bag is 24 bucks. It's normally 39. The the leaf bag is a seventy nine dollar bag. This has all these dividers so that your top oh. your your sections don't scratch one another. It's a really oh, high end so bag, nice. and it's normally thirty nine on sale at the Kickstarter sale price. And at that four fifty nine, you're saving another fifty dollars off of the bunt of of both of them when you buy them together, and. Uh, Honestly, this this one I struggled with whether or not I should do this because I'm really just handing over a lot of margin. And mm. the wood costs of that dining cover, I am not going to be able to keep selling them this cheap. Um, sure. Honestly, uh, the prices are going to go up. They have to. But for our Kickstarter backers that are helping us do this, this is a way I can say thank you. This is a way I can give wow. you a loyalty reward. Um, and... <laughs> And I just thought, yeah, we're just going to do something special with these. Well, that's absolutely now, awesome. What is what is the top? What is are those panels made out of? Is it made out of the same stuff that the the um, bottom of the toppers are made out of, or is there something different? They're actually made out of MDF. So okay, so it is MDF. Okay. Yep, and it's then it's powder coated on top of that, yep. so it has a, a similar finish to the aluminum rails uh, over yeah. the MDF, and it also helps waterproof it more and did you right. did you guys get a mat rack uh yeah we have the mat yep. we have a mat rack yep yep, mm-hmm. yep. we um, have not installed that as of yet oh you haven't put together it well, this is nope. the same material um this isn't normal mdf it's much denser it's used yeah. for heavy okay. duty countertops and hospitals restaurants oh, wow. and uh and even hotels and and it's a little denser and then the powder coating is really good and it's got really nice beveled edges uh, it, yeah, we opened it up. Looking. It looks fantastic. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, it's, oh, yeah, it's super we, smooth. It's like almost, yeah. you know, it's almost plasticky, you know, which is a it's a nice little coating. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. So anyway, that's the same for both the Watson and the Homes here at seven sixty five. And then we've got another one. We'll just whip through this real quick. But this is our new game hall game topper story. Oh. Oh. That's nice. That's so cute. Yeah, that looks and, fantastic. Oh, that's so nice. This thing is awesome. And so the zippers are here and here. And then, wow. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. that's very cool. I love bags. I love bags. We, we now, love bags. 
<laughs> this has got really nice foam to really protect it. Look at this. Look what fits in here. Oh, my oh gosh, there you go. So perfect. Right along with you. Perfectly. <laughs> you can fit three, three ticket size boxes in here and, uh, and two of the double cup holders. But wait, there's more. <laughs> really cool zippered slot on the side. It has a oh, really yeah. nice handle, shoulder That's strap. Super cute. It also has this kind of handle. Mm -hmm. And then on this side, we have two Velcro. Oh, oh that's, that's nice. That's, a, that's all right. Um, <laughs> Velcro expanding? Uh, for your water bottles and or small games. Oh, that is cool. That's a, a, once again, you guys making a bunch of things cram into one thing. <laughs> well, yeah, we have a couple of bags, awesome. but that one's really nice. The yeah, game like ball, the, top the shelf fun ones. makes these, and these these bags are crazy awesome. They're normally fifty nine bucks. We have them on the Kickstarter for thirty nine. Okay, wow. But this this stretch goal with all of the packages, you're going to be able to add it for only twenty bucks. Wow. It's basically yeah. my cost. I'm throwing them in one. and it'll fit in. It's awesome. It's yeah. super cute. My only question is, do you have it in pink? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, we have. Um, no, I don't have it in pink. <laughs> we have two of the top shelf fun bags out. We have the we have the taller one and the uh, this kind of the shorter side that you have. But ours doesn't have the little expando slots on the side, which I would really like. That to is have. so nice because you are always like, I mean, we bring, whenever we go to conventions or anything, we I'm always bring a little bag. Yeah. We bring a bag with us like that, with the games we know we want to play, but there's not always little pockets and little zippers and things like that. So that is so cool. Yeah, I great, love that. Yeah, that's a great one. Yeah. Uh, 785. Another thing we unlocked our acrylic covers. And not oh, only nice. the, these acrylic covers, covers are going to come with a dry erase marker so you can use them Ooh. as store cards. Oh, are you kidding me? That's pretty good. Cool. just stop it. <laughs> He's what not the kidding heck? <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't even think about that. That's so cool. Oh, that's super neat. They, they fit in the rail. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. So, I want to try that. Where's that ours? Is, um, so I want to see what, what this looks like. Man. <laughs> what's really cool about these is uh, they're, they're, you can get a set of these four singles and two doubles and two of the dry erase markers. For, they're normally 39 bucks. You can get them for $29 as an add-on. But with all the packages, we're going to save you another 10 bucks to get them for 20 bucks. Oh my gosh. I don't know, man. That's amazing. I don't know. That's Th that actually cool. freaks me out. I'm freaked out. You get a marker and you write on there. I didn't even think of that. That's fantastic. Yep, dry erase marker. Not not sharpie. Yeah. yeah. Not sharpie. <laughs> right, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you get a sharpie and you write all over it. And then you clean it up with acid. No, no, no. You don't want to do with acid. <laughs> <laughs> We're just ruining all the products. Wow. That's oh, really, that's really, really cool. What's that's that really at 800,000? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I, that I, that looks familiar, yeah, but I, I see, like I see four little letters that go together <laughs> that make it even better than the previous stretch goal. And what does four little letters say? <laughs> Bring <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> nice. So, That's so cool. great. We unlocked the Game Toppers accessory bank with all Wave Two packages. So the Adler Elementary, the Scotland Yard, Baker Street, Reichenbach Falls or Odin slash dragon bundles. Get one of these for free. I just thought, you know, if you guys help us get to 800 grand, it's going to be a push. Click track is voting against us right now, but uh, uh, okay. I'm, I'm voting against click track and I'm voting for you guys. <laughs> that's, right, <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's so but fantastic. One, one thing to note on this one real quick too, is um, it is available. If you back a wave one package, don't feel left out. We will also ship it to you, but these aren't these aren't manufactured yet, and we won't have them until November. So mm. we're just going to say uh, you're getting a game topper game tote bag in those Wave One pledges um, that other people aren't getting. But this here, we will still send you one for free. You just pay the shipping, and it'll be about ten bucks. So oh, very cool. Wow. Still That's a crazy awesome. good deal. 
Yeah, Somebody in the chat, uh, Trent here, is mentioning, uh, and it wouldn't be a stream if I didn't say we need game topper shirts. I'm gonna, where can I, I get a game, game topper, topper shirt? shirt? I want that. I want one of those. <laughs> I'd buy one. <laughs> <laughs> do I have to dance like that if I wear one, oh, though? I can do it. I'll dance. Do he I dance will, like that? Or do it, yeah. <laughs> I got moved. I got moved. I, I got, got abs, move. too. You can't see them, but I got them. <laughs> They're in there somewhere. You got a six pack, huh? It's in the back of the fridge. <laughs> Glorious! Oh my goodness! Oh, funny. <laughs> Maybe some green toppers. Yeah, we've we've Love had people them. ask us about that because Josiah is generally he'll wear his his uh, hockey hoodie. Uh, we've okay. got some of our coffee mugs, and I had a guy oh, message on. me after the video, and he said, "I'd pay thirty bucks for that." Yeah, <laughs> they cost us a, so much. I I thought ah, we can't sell these. I have a whole collection of coffee mugs. I'm really picky about just, and, and I like to have them that are like special, meaningful cups that are from a place, you know. So I want a Game Toppers mug. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we made we made uh, goblet holders. Yeah. <sighs> Oh my God! That that's cool. too fancy for me. Yeah, you have those little the goblet uh, add-ons or whatever. Yeah, those are cool. So maybe down the road we'll think about it some more. Cool. And then the last couple things, real quick, and then we're going to probably shut this thing down. We've been going pretty good here. <laughs> At eight twenty-five and eight thirty-five, eight twenty-five. A backer's choice mat commission where you, the backers, oh. as a thank you for all your wonderful support, will be taking your input and seeing what mat you all want us to design. And that will be a mat that we will produce in the future. Wow, and there, that's really cool. There's been so much enthusiasm about this. Uh, we have uh, over 200 people have filled out the survey on the Game Topper. Facebook page or the wow. Game Topper Nation Facebook group or one of our Q&As, we listed the survey. Uh, <laughs> we decided at 8.35, why not do two? Oh, all right. We have a I'm second right, right. practice <laughs> choice, Matt. <laughs> oh, oh, my wow. gosh. It, it takes us a lot of time to work with the artist and to, to sure. commission them, come up with the sketch. I usually do the art direction and the sketch and work together mm -hmm. with the artists and let them run with it. And then it has to get uh, uh, graphically designed so that it'll fit all of our sizes and scaled properly sure. uh, from the yeah. largest DPI and all of that. Um, so, wow. and then at 850, we're gonna have a party. <laughs> oh, all right. This is uh, the celebration toast. So this is something we did for our last campaign to kind of uh, and celebrate the end of the campaign at a, a live stream. And so we wanted to do something similar uh, this time. It, it really should say uh, sponsored by, by Chris Henderson. Chris actually is in the chat here for the first time. Is he here? Yeah, oh, he's cool. here in the chat. He just joined in. I love this guy. <laughs> uh, Chris, oh, uh, cool. last campaign sent us a bottle of uh, sparkling wine for our celebration. And he has, he has sponsored this celebration as well. Oh, that's, <laughs> cool. the best. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's very neat. <laughs> um, if, if you guys had a map to choose, we can go back to double street. <clears throat> if you guys had a map that designed, what would you like to see? Our logo. <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, a guy. Oh my gosh. Uh, interesting. Yeah. What I when do? did I ever refuse an accommodation? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I know. The Kickstarter is full of them. Um, you know, I like I like the plain ones somewhat, you know, because like um and that, I guess I'm a little biased towards that just because it's they're nice for recording and things. You know, some of them that are oh, sure. um, I love obviously the thematic ones, and we'll we use those. Um and I like the, you know, we had the red and the gray one. Almost something like some kind of a, I don't know, like a, not like a, like a bokeh, like you know, like with uh, like oh. a, from a camera, you know what I mean? Some kind of a like light light spots. Yeah, like light spots type thing. I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm it's, gonna it's say to something describe, extremely but. different than that. Mine would be 
a rolling countryside with a big old castle and sheep oh, in the field cool. and cool. a forest over there and a river over there and the sun over there and flowers. Like I want like a big old picture. You're you're Some almost beautiful talking pictures. about our scythe inspired resource mat. Have you seen that? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah, that I don't that think one is so. fairly similar. Um, yeah, I mean, but that one wants like some kind of like a medieval kind of a thing, right? Yeah, I'm I'm so into like castles and just ugh. Oh, Nobody's yeah, gonna want my idea. I just would like to see it. Randy wants light spots, <laughs> and I want a castle. Sounds like you're kind <laughs> of like farming a, theme. Ooh. An image That'd too that's cool. more of less a top down and more of kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, asymmetrical. Yeah, yep. yeah, lands, yep, yeah, where it looks like you're looking out a window at an yeah. expanse of a medieval castle with the foreground and just yeah. Hey, hey Ellen, Chat's got, got yeah. a million ideas. Do you do you have a do you have a rubber mallet? Oh yeah, I, I do. Yeah, just pop him in the head. He'll see all kinds of spots. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the. Whatever. Oh my gosh, you want to see spots? <laughs> Uh, that was bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I want something fancy. I, I didn't say like people were gonna want this. I just uh, you asked me. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's what hilarious. I oh my gosh. <laughs> the chat's got all sorts of groups. It's actually yeah, Chrissy's uh, farming thing. That's like that'd be a cool one. There's a lot of farming games out there. That's true. Yeah, that might be an interesting one. Yep, interesting yep. idea. Catan. You've got. Uh, yeah. Verna. Fields, Fields of Arl. Hollow Town. <laughs> Chrissy also says, I would like to see cats on a mat. Cat mat. Uh, yeah. she's, she's a cat lady. Cat she likes she cats. loves her cats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Matthew, like, Matthew says, be evil and make a mat full uh, of game pieces. Just like random game pieces so you never know like, where <laughs> <laughs> it's It sounds like, like ice spy or whatever. Yeah. Right? <laughs> That's cool. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Huh. Yeah, there's quite a few people that are in the chat here talking about mats. We had such yeah. a great talk with Mark Street. So, I mean, Mark wanted a dino mat. You know, he just wanted dinosaur Jurassic Park. And the more oh, he shit. thought That's about so it, cool. the more he got excited. <laughs> well, one dino mat and one other. That's that's funny. <laughs> yeah, you get to, you know, I know you guys have some space ones. Um, I'm thinking. Very yeah. popular. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, those are yeah, cool. For sure. Oh what man! Else? All I, I can think of is just terror. like the like Irish countryside or something like that. That's 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 where my jam yeah, is. Something like landscapey, like just some kind of a, that's, that's kind of cool. Just kind of rolling hills or something yeah. along those mm -hmm. lines. You could hang it up; it would be a picture. Maybe with some like um, like ruins or something like that. You mm -hmm. know, that'd be kind of yeah, cool. Something gorgeous like that. <laughs> yeah, One of sleepy those. hollow inspired okay. horror mat. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we had we had a lot of requests that people wanted a horror theme with like a oh, graveyard yeah. and an old mansion in the back type of thing. Mm -hmm. I believe it. I mean, yeah, and actually that that sounds like a map that would even accommodate like an exit game. You know, they're kind of mysterious. You're solving riddles. Yeah. We play those all the time. So I think I love the idea of switching your mat to like be what you're gonna play that night. Yeah, it's cool. so cool. It's like an outfit to fit the occasion. <laughs> I, I remember I've told this story before, but we had we were playing Mission Red Planet, but we had the adventure mat out and we had it almost all set up. And it was like one of these things just doesn't just go not with like the other. The other. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and and so we debated for a little bit and find a uh, fine. We just put it all away, put the took the mat off, put the space mat down, put it all Good up. For you. Afterwards, everybody went. Wow, that was so much better. I'm so glad we did that because it just totally just that little difference just made it feel so much more real, you know. I mean, board gaming already is an experience. It's all it that's what it is. You sit down with people, and even if you've never met them before, you kind of bond in a really weird way over this just like very unique experience. And when it can everything can be thematic and look pretty too, it just feels so grand and luxurious. Mm -hmm. So I I love that. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Rod has a question for Randy and Ellen. Says, "Make up uh -oh. my mind for me. Should I stick with aluminum or go with the oak for the topper?" Yeah. <sighs> um, you could know sooner. I She's think, a favorite star in the heavens. I, I think, <laughs> and I think either of the wood grain <laughs> options is yeah. the way to go. I would, yeah, honestly, I think so too. It's just so dang classy. Yeah, and, unless it like super clashes with whatever else sure. you have in your surroundings, then you know I'd stay away from it. 
but I, I just like how it breaks up that, you know, the little bit of black, cause you know, you have obviously the black for the rail still in the inset. Yeah. Um, that little two tone, having just that kind of little two tone, little wood grain, little wood grain. Yeah. And, uh, I, I would, I would go with one of the wood grains if it fits well enough with your, with your room. Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jody says, Berkey, if you do a dyno mat, Rod will upgrade to an oak copper for sure. Rod says, okay, I'm doing it. He commits all commit. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, a dyno mat would be cool. A, a couple of the, the number one uh, themes that were asked is there was a lot of people wanted like a train themed and, and possibly combined mm. with Old West. There was quite oh, a few okay. people that said that. There was a lot of yeah. people that just wanted a plain water map. Like it was just hmm. water. Yeah. I was going to say like a seas kind of a map. That, that'd be cool. Cause that kind of fits the purpose of like, still it's kind of plain. Cause I know a lot of people like somewhat plain and that's kind of what I was, my mindset was going to yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe the, maybe the Boca is not the way to go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Or the word plain, but uh, right. <laughs> but I mean, just like, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that don't like really any kind of graphic keyness mm. to it just because they don't like a, what they think is a busy top, but mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, the ones that we have that um, that they, they don't, they might look busy at first glance, like on a camera or through on a on the screen, for instance. But seriously, right. every one of these that we've gotten in person, you look at it and you go, "No, that's perfect." Yeah, you know, they're they don't look as busy as they might look on the screen. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, and I think that's one thing that normally we keep the art assets around the edge, but even a couple yeah. of the mats that have a little more detail, like the Roman theme mat and the scythe inspired resource mat, the color palette is so gorgeous. Like mm. we played stone age on the scythe mat, we played wingspan and the, the, the color of the palette, it just felt like it was right there. It wasn't, you know, I'm an artist. So I get, I get the concern like, Oh, yeah. this is, you know, mm -hmm. distracting, but I think you'll find that as you play games, you just become very immersed in it. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, it, it's all yeah, you taste, get to know right? it. Yeah. Our number one selling mats and the favorite mats in the poll have always been the thematic. Yep. Mm, yeah. Yep. 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 So, yep. But to each his own. We try to do a bunch of each, so everybody has good choices. Yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> Oh, a Berkey mat. There we go. Just Ber 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 Berkey's, Berkey's face. face. <laughs> Nobody Perfect. wants a Berkey mat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's great. I, I have a hard time changing out our wood grain one. I, I just love it. I know. I really like this one. I, like it's, I always, it's become my favorite. Yeah, we go to change it, and I'm just like, no, especially during live plays. It's just beautiful. Yeah, it works really well. Love it. And it, it goes so well with the walnut and the oak. Like Josiah, mm -hmm. he loves yeah. the walnut. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, I'm a fan of the walnut. Yep. Oh yeah. It's a good color. Oh, I just, mm -hmm. <laughs> <Bergy Yeah. mint. laughs> well, Matthew, uh. Matthew has a comment. He's saying, "Yeah, I'm on the fence about getting the snow mat for things like the thing, games like the thing, or mm -hmm. Arctic scavengers, or yeah. uh, Dead of Winter." Yeah, uh, Dead of Winter. Uh, even even some of your uh, memoir forty four, you know. Oh yeah. yep. that'd be cool. Or ice cool Battle for the kids. Old, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> and that one is such a nice neutral map. You you'd see how beautiful yeah. that is to display. A lot of things really pop on it. Mm. Yeah, that's one I looked at for sure at towards the beginning. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, I I think we've been going quite a bit here, but. Um, <laughs> Thank you for uh, everybody yeah. for going through the stretch goals. And thank you both for taking all the time to go through all of this absolutely. and your input to this. Absolutely. It's oh, a pleasure. We, we're, we're just we're so happy. Thrilled. To, we're thrilled with ours for sure. And we talk about it all the time. Pretty much every live stream, people are asking I mean, questions. And at the cost compared to some of the other tables out there at $3,000. I mean, there we played on a number of different ones. And I mean, for, yeah. the, for the price especially, it's – they're fantastic. Yeah, and I swear I'll shut up after this last comment. After you see how many things go into this and the accessories and the add-ons and all the different things, it, it is like a whole, it's, I mean, you use the word system yourself. It feels like, well, of course I got to get the thing to go with the thing. You know, oh, it makes sense to get this thing with that thing. You're not mix ma matching from like other companies. It's just already there. Yeah. So, and I love that. I mean, yeah, this great. thing is not going anywhere, man. I mean, like this. <laughs> 
this this could stand some serious. Well, our kid was jumping on it a couple days ago, and it was fine. So, (laughs) (laughs) well, our our toppers really were designed to stand the test of time and give that heirloom quality. And prior Mm -hmm. to having the leg kits. I, I felt like our top surface was as good as a lot of high-end yeah. game tables because of the functionality, the look, the feel, the quality. Um, mm-hmm. And now we have a leg kit solution, so you can have a full-blown table, all of that. And, it's so fantastic. And mm-hmm. again, we have about three days left, so if you folks could help us share the campaign, we very much would appreciate it. Um, we're going to be working real hard on our end here to keep doing everything we can to get eyes on the campaign and hopefully unlock some of these extra savings. I mean, if you add up all the savings that we have scheduled, if we hit up to mm-hmm. 800,000, you're going to save over a hundred bucks. That's, that's right. Awesome. That's Just a instantly. big deal. Um, we're only going <laughs> to offer those specials um, in the, once you get your late pledge survey, uh, it's going to come out about a week after this campaign ends. And we're going to encourage everybody to fill out their survey as soon as possible Josiah is getting married June 19th. Oh, oh congratulations. congratulations. So he's working <laughs> real hard on the backer kit pledge survey so that all that is really streamlined for y'all to answer questions, all of that kind of thing. Um, but then when he gets back right after the 4th of July, we're going to be changing some of those prices. So this was meant to benefit our Kickstarter backers. So we can't sustain all these low prices of the leg kit and dining cover specials and all these freebies we're throwing in. Um, that's going to change after that. So fill out your survey mm-hmm. if you want to get in on it. Uh, you, you'll be locked into your pledge if you bought a package. But if you want to get a bunch of extras and stuff that were available at a discounted price, for instance, you'll want to do that right away. Awesome. Uh, Matthew, that is a fantastic point. The, the commitment to backwards compatibility and upgrades is what got him to jump into the Kickstarter. Mm. The backwards compatible, I mean, people absolutely love that. They want to be able to know that they bought, you know, a thousand plus dollar table. You know, they got $1,500 invested into mats and everything. They want to know that you're going to do what you can to make that expand along with the rest of the product line. That, yep. That's a great, that's a great point. Absolutely. Well, again, thanks everybody for joining us. And if you have any questions, you can reach out Josiah. If you have any shipping questions or anything detailed like that at support at gametoppersllc.com. And always feel free to email me at Berkey at gametoppersllc.com. We're very committed to answering every question. Uh, I, Unless I don't know about it, I've answered every social media question, every Kickstarter message, uh, uh, our comments. Raymond has helped us uh, really well. And sometimes backers have been so awesome. They'll chime in and answer yeah. questions. I love questions. that. And our community is the best. Uh, oh, gosh. Amen. The chat, is, chat in board games in general is just so fantastic. Seriously. Everybody's just there to help. It's, yep. it's awesome. Totally. I love it. And we, we have a Facebook group called Game Topper Nation. And you, I'm in you, it. You're in it. Is that cool or what? <laughs> yeah. I love seeing all the updates. And, and, and people are so knowledgeable because people want to know about what's going on. So there's a lot of like question answering by just people. It's really, really yeah. cool. And sometimes I don't answer at all. I'll just, someone will say, hey, what do you think about the wood? Well, I've got an opinion, but Let's let everybody else chime yeah. in, see what they say, yeah. and, and let everybody talk. Um, and and that helps other people make decisions. And then they see th- yeah. the reality of what this is. This is a quality mm-hmm. product and, and a community of people that love it. And uh, it really helps everybody. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, good night, everybody. And three more days on next Wednesday at 1 o'clock. Uh, oh. I'm going to think about this. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> uh, wait for it. Um, I get the time zone wrong. We have BJ from the Migs and BJ show. It's a nationally syndicated podcast. And he's oh. also a head of Geek Nation. 
He's a backer that we met. I was actually on his national show here a couple weeks ago, and he's joining us at on Wednesday. I think it's one o'clock Central Standard Time, but I might be wrong. I think it's one o'clock and three o'clock uh, uh, Pacific Coast Time. Uh, but fun guy, super fun guy, loves our product. He bought one at Origins last year. And uh, talk about, I mean, he's a professional broadcaster and uh, talk about- That's uh, amazing. Cool, cool Pacific goes the other way. So if it's one o'clock central, then you'd be at 11 Pacific. Well, I don't know what it is. <laughs> you think I know what it is? Why did I look so confused? I don't know. Leo will like, always tire. I just wanted to have somebody help you to just... figure that out. I don't know that. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, that honestly, the way I always remember is because, you know, back when you used to watch TV, I mean, it's still kind of now, but they used to always say 10 9 Central, 10 9 Central, 10 9 Central, and 10 was always the Eastern time zone. Oh, That's how I always remember. Past time. Eastern. Past and, then, yeah. and then, yeah, that's how I remember every time. <laughs> okay, here it is. Two o'clock Central Standard Day, Central Daylight Time. Two o'clock Wednesday. And that means it's noon for BJ. You yeah. Know, Perfect. I'm wrong. We changed it. He sent me a message. Standard. It's at 2.30. We had to change it because he's got something going on. Two thirty, and we're and we're on standard time now, so yeah. that that will be the same for all you central people. Yes. Yeah. Central centralized. I'm just people. smiling like I know what you're talking about. Well, well, yeah, central know. standard and the central good. daylight. We're not. We're no longer on daylight time. Yeah. I don't know. I know. It's 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 like crazy <laughs> messed up thing because you have like half you have parts of Indiana that aren't on daylight, but now we're all on standard time. So now you're doing any of those calculations. So I, I always just say yeah. central time and let people figure it out. Yeah, and then people will just figure it out from there. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's the central yeah. time the right time, right? right? <laughs> that's true. That's the only time that true. It's the center, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Good night, everybody. Take care. I know. Good night. Bye. <laughs>